Well, what's up, dirt nerds? I'm George, and it is Dirt 30. Let's see what we're digging into today. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Doing fairly well. Weather is kind of being okay. It's warm, but overcast, so it's muggy. Uh, yesterday was just absolute crap. Um, so I, I tried to do the video with my uh, rock tumbler, but you, you just couldn't see nothing. They just they just looked like rocks. They, they didn't look like anything special because it was so dark and gray and gloomy. And I don't really have good lighting inside to do that either. So, <laughs> so today... I'm prepping a new melt dish uh, for doing hand melts for doing you know with fire and I got a big old piece of slag silver uh, I tried to melt a bunch of silver in my furnace but I think the setting was too high even though I'm pretty sure I turned it down for sterling but it's still I think it, it, it I think it may have ruined it but I'm gonna try and re, you know melt it down see if I can't recover any good silver out of that slag pile um, and then I have some other sterling scrap that I'm going to go ahead and melt and pour and make a Dirt 30 coin. So, let's go ahead and get you flipped around, set up, and uh, let's get to it. Alright, so, prepping a melt dish. See, I've got a nice large one here that I'm going to be doing. So, you've got your dish, get yourself a nice pair of uh, metal tongs, properly angled so that you for use with heat so that you can... Rotate this around, you can tip it, roll it, do what you need to do when doing the first glaze. And you do that with borax. 20 mule team, basics that you'll find it in your detergent aisle. Uh, when heated, it will fill the, all the pores in the dish and create a glass-like coating so that the uh, silver or other metals or material that you're melting don't absorb into the dish or get stuck there and don't come out. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing that uh, once it's all glazed in. I've got my got my hand whip so that I will put the metal in, melt it down, and I'm going to be pouring into my Dirt 30 block. Dirt 30 Dirt Nerd. I'll be pouring into that block, and possibly even if I got enough silver, doing another big thumbs up. So we'll see what comes out of what all I got here as far as what I get poured. There we go. So, start off with, obviously, uh, gonna put on some face protection. Cannot really put on hand protection at this point because I have to be able to reach in and, and feel how much of that I'm adding. And, you know, not to mention, you know, the gloves, I'd, you know, they would fit in here, but it would be very cumbersome and nothing is going to explode out of this. Nothing is going to uh, go crazy, you know, not until I start putting metals in or anything like that if I haven't treated it properly first. So, first things up, fire on the torch. Oh, where are we at? We don't need high heat at this point, so crank it down just a bit. We are using map gas because that is going to create proper heat. So to start off with, just, just warm it up, just to drive off any moisture. Warm the whole thing all the way around. Inside, outside, make sure it's good and warm. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit. Make sure we're heating it up. And 
very small little sprinkles at a time. And glaze it in. Just let you see it melt. Once you see it melt, it'll spread in. If you get up along these sides too. Even the very top edge, you want to get some just, just to make sure that any material that splashes out in the process doesn't uh, get stuck on the edge. You see, I've done this before. I can actually bump this dish with my uh, torch tip and turn it. So I keep this hand free to drop the uh, borax in. And it gives me a boot the bump back. I missed the spot right there. But you can clearly see when you miss because the borax creates a nice glaze. If you get a dull spot, that means you missed with the borax. And you need to put more there. There we go. And just continue all the way around, doing the whole top and the edge. Don't worry about the bottom because if you're working the top and the, and, the, and the edges, the bottom gets some too. So when you start with the top and the edges, the bottom is pretty much already done by the time you get all the way around. You just may need to sprinkle a little right in the middle. Did the first initial glaze I let it cool off uh, so that because once it cools off you can see everywhere the borax is laid it creates a nice glassy glaze across it so you look around you make sure that it's all nice and shiny it's got a good glaze all the way around and we look good so I'm ready to heat this back up and like I said first thing I'm gonna do is try to melt this slag bit it, it, it poured off really rough and jagged kind of ashy um, it was a big, big pile of sterling that it just went horribly wrong. So I'm going to see if I can't recover any good silver out of this and uh, go from there. I also have some decent, some good clean scrap sterling to, uh, to play with as well. So hopefully if this doesn't work out for anything, then I at least can melt that and do one coin. <laughs> All right. Got my tones. Got my bricks. Ooh, give me one more minute. Uh, I gotta find my uh, dunk bucket, my you know bucket of water to throw the things into. One second. Okay, all right, we're all set. Got the water can. Got my my pour box. Figure out what I'm gonna, which one I'm gonna do first. Got my hunk of metal. Got the rest of my hunks of metal right there. All right. Put my face back on here. Safety first, folks. And yes, I will be putting on at least one glove for working the whip. All right, and fresh brand new can. George is live. Crank it up.
there. There we go. Oh, let's see what happened. That's all right. It'll clean up looking a lot better than it did before, which was absolute shite. Go ahead and melt the butter for the line of it. Well, it's ugly, but it's silver. See if this one can drop out. No, of course not. All right. We'll get that one out of there in a second. Yeah, doesn't say dirt 30. It didn't pour into a coin, but... At least it's solid sterling and it's back to looking like silver, like melted metal again. So, there we go. We got one nice shiny big thumb up, sterling thumb. Gotta love it. That came out too, didn't come out too bad. And then the big ugly actually did pretty decent. For the fact that it looked like slag and I thought it was ash and it was done and the silver was burnt. You know, doesn't look pretty. It's kind of blobby. But that's back to looking like silver. And there we go. So there we go. There we have it. Ugh. I love doing hand melts. Hand melts is so much funner than doing uh, furnace melt because you actually see the metal. You 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 know you can watch it. You can uh, pay attention to uh, how hot it's getting. You know you can you can tell that you know hey this this metal is melting. It's getting ready to you know it's it's blobbing up. It's getting ready to pour. 
and that's it. Uh, with a furnace, you have to watch and wait and watch. You know, you're, not, you're just not really doing anything, but just sitting there waiting and then peeking the box every so often. So it's fun. It does. What I, it it works for the copper because I can't do copper with a with a hand torch. It does not get hot enough. So perfect for copper. Perfect for pure silver. Uh, when I do a silver shot, it was beautiful. It works awesome. When I do sterling, I don't. It just. I don't know. I'm not doing it right. I'm not, I thought I was setting it to the proper temperature, but who knows? Anyway, that's what I have for you today, folks. Yes, again, sorry about the tumbler. Uh, it is still going. We are we are now on the uh, pre-polish. So we are on stage three. Uh, next round will be the polish. So it will be, uh, you got to do, I do, I got to do a polish, and then I do a burnish, which is just soap, which helps to, you know, uh, hopefully make it stay all that nice sparkly clean shiny pretty and we'll go from there so i hope you all are having a wonderful evening wonderful afternoon or a wonderful morning wherever you are it is dirt 30 go dig in that dirt go look for some treasures go hunt for some gold stores are opening back up hopefully good will be soon Whatever it is that you got to do, whatever it is that you want to do, it is all out here waiting for us. Just got to get up, get out, go do it. Love you all. See you soon.